Hey, what up, what up? I promise you my eyes are strictly on the road. New knockout in Impact Wrestling. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, folks? It is your boy, BQ. Super pressed for time today, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Here with the Impact Lounge. But this is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. So if you're a first-timer, hit that subscribe button. If you're not a first-timer, give a thumbs up if you're happy about the newest knockout in Impact Wrestling. Who is Katie Forbes? Before I get into the content, it is Instagram month here at the Impact Lounge. If you're not following the Impact Lounge on Instagram, I just started the page last month. Pretty close to about 500 followers so far, so it's nothing like the YouTube or the Twitter, but I am trying to build a nice, engaged fan base on there. So check out the Impact Lounge on Instagram if you haven't already. It's really funny because prior to her debut, I was working on some YouTube comment, uh, excuse me, YouTube content about you know five or six ladies who I would like to see become knockouts in Impact Wrestling, and Katie Forbes was one of them. I was actually going to pitch that I would love to see her and Rebel come over as a tag team. But I will tell you, when she had her in-ring debut against Jordan Grace, I was thoroughly impressed with what she did. You know, I've seen her wrestle before, but, um, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect on Impact. I didn't know how much they were going to let her be her. She probably had one of the longest ring entrances we've seen in a while, but, you know, very, very entertaining. But when she got in the ring, like she could actually work. You know, I think, you know, personally, I think she does sexuality better than Scarlett Bordeaux. And she's better in the ring, too. Like Scarlett was good at what she did, but there was still so much work to do on the physical side, in the ring. And with, with Katie, she can really work. She she uses the gimmick to her advantage and really makes it work for her. And she had a really competitive match with Jordan Grace. And I was truly hoping, you know, because we've been seeing people come in on Impact and, you know, they're doing matches and then, you know, they don't sign. And sometimes we're just kind of like, why, why are they even on the screen? You know what I mean? So I was actually pretty concerned that they weren't going to sign Katie Ford. And this was, this was one where I was like, yo, this is, this is someone we need to bring aboard in the knockout division. They need a good heel. And, and she's a star. And, you know, when I say someone's a star, I don't mean they're going to, you know, main event Wrestlemania tomorrow but what I mean is like she's made to be on screen like she has a character she has a gimmick she's not one of those people oh she's just talented so we're gonna bring her along and see what you know what we can do with her no like she she comes ready to go you know and then just the backstage stuff she did with Jordan Grace prior and the thing with uh after with what's this fuck Johnny Swinger you know like this is good shit like she knows how to be on the you know, you know to be a presence and to be a character and she just she just brings something different as opposed to the last knockout we got who we were really excited about and it's been straight ass vanilla ever since you know she joined the roster like katie truly brings some serious edge you know to the product and and again you know you could agree or disagree i think she does it's a different brand of it but i think she does sexuality better than Jordan, then uh, not Jordan Grace, duh, obviously, then uh, Scarlett Bordeaux, and you know she's going to push the limit more, which is something I think Impact is looking to do. Just, just in you know lots of levels, push, push the limit. People have been wanting the Attitude Era. This is the Attitude Era, like signings like this, and allowing her to just be herself. Like when she did her ring entrance and the amount of twerking she was doing, I was like, wow, I cannot believe this is on television. This day and age when it comes to wrestling so needless to say this is a signing that i'm really excited about because you know not only do i think she has a good uh, character but i think she does really good work in the ring she can cut a promo you know so so she, this, this is a good deal I, i'm really happy about this and the way i found out too it's funny because i just recorded my b-side podcast yesterday and one of the segments was i wanted them to sign katie forbes and, and now i got to go back and edit that content out but it was funny because I woke up at about 2 in the morning, just couldn't sleep. So I start going through Instagram. I see a few hours before that she had announced that she's now an official knockout with Impact. So I was super jazzed and then before going to sleep I made the thumbnail for this uh, YouTube video. My apologies for doing this on the road. Just busy day. I wanted to get this uploaded and as I said, my eyes have been on the road 
looking forward. And now I'm stopped. Now I'm at a red light. And this is good shit for the knockouts division. Uh, they need to continue to grow this division. I know Lufisto is openly campaigning for joining the division, so that's someone I really would like to see come aboard next. Because she deserves an opportunity to show what she can do on television. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Again, it is your boy, BQ, with the Impact Lounge. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like, and I'll talk to you soon.